tuwid me. Permitin.
Good evening. Good evening, people. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you, Andrea? Well. Good. Did you have a good day today? Yes, it's my free day. Oh, really? Yes, I rest all day. Excellent. Do you have one day or two days off? Um, depends on. Uh, cuando es semana de pago, I, I work. Uh, I rest one day and a half. Okay. So you have and, a short day. Yes. And cuando es como semana de restago, como decimos nosotros. Uh -huh. este, uh, I, I rest. have free rest, uh -huh. two free days. Good, good, nice. Yes. Good. Hello, Delmi, how are you? Good, good evening. Good evening. Hello, teacher. I am, I am tired and very sleepy. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know, at this time of the day, you know, it's normal to be tired and sleepy. Yes. Noemi, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I am in. in good evening. Good evening, good. Moises. I'm fine. I'm good. Excellent. Excellent. What about you, Moises? How was your day? And I'm, I'm tired, so so tired. <laughs> uh, I was I work uh, the six o'clock until two p.m. o'clock. Okay, so you start very early. Yes. Uh, five o'clock. Is that every day? Do you have the same schedule every day? Every day. Every day. And this week. This week, uh, the Monday or uh, uh, Sunday. Monday to Sunday, every day. Yeah. Sí. Yes. Okay. All right, good. Okay, people, welcome back. It's, I'm glad to see you again. Thank you for being punctual. What time is it? It's 8.03. Very good. It's 8.03. ¿Hasta qué minuto decimos el O? Nine. 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 Very good. Nine. Exactly. Del 1 al 9, usted siempre va a decir O. Aunque el, el reloj no sea automático, usted siempre va a decir 8.06, 8.07, 8.09, and so on. And what's today's date, class? Today's date? Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday. How do you spell Tuesday? Volunteer to spell Tuesday? T-U-E-S-A-Y. Okay. T-U-E-S-D-A-Y. Very good. Capital T or lowercase? Capital. Capital. Yes. And what's the month? March. 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 How do you spell March? Noemi, how do you spell March? M A R C H. Good. Capital M or lowercase? Capital M. Very good. And what is the date? What's the date, people? 20, 29. How do you spell ninth? Anybody? N-I-N-E. N-I-N-T? T what? E. T what? ¿Qué le falta esa T después? 
class. Class. Watches. 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 Okay, but H nine. N I N T. ¿Qué le falta? ¿Qué letra le falta al final de la T? Después de la T. H. 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 Very H. good. H. N I N T H. And the year is. Y N H. And the year is. 2022. 2022. 2022. Very good. 2022. All right. So welcome back. Let's talk a little bit about yesterday. What topics did we cover yesterday? Mm -hmm. Human resources, professions. Yes. Human resources, professions. Yes. Yeah, so. Human resources is a department with different people doing different things. Do you remember some of the names of the positions in human resources? HR generalist. Okay, HR generalist. Uh -huh. What else? Company. Okay, but what position? Juan Ricardo. Uh huh. Compensation specialist. Yeah, compensation specialist. Especially. Specialist. 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 Yes. Okay. What else did we do yesterday? And the specialist. One more time, please. Benefit yeah. specialist. Yeah, benefit specialist. Yes. How do you say viaticos in English? Expenses. 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 When does a person receive expenses? Expenses. Yes, expenses. When does a person receive expenses? Cuando se le dan expenses. Spend money in something, for example, food. Uh -huh. And then the, the company give the employers the money. Good, exactly. Is it only for food or any other scenarios? Other. Any other. Transportation. 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 Gas money. Yeah, money. Gas money. So food, gas money, what else? Warriors. Warriors. Sometimes hotels. Yes, exactly. Food, oh. transportation, and hotels. Right. Mm -hmm. any, any questions or comments? No? Okay. Any, any questions about yesterday? Any questions? The note. <clears throat> Excuse me? The note. What the note? grade? Oh, the grade is going to be ready tomorrow. Mañana le voy a tener listas sus notas. Recuerde, instructions okay. were, el Wait. grupo, alguien del grupo tenía que enviar una evaluación con todos los nombres de los que contribuyeron. Así lo enviaron, ¿verdad? Sí, licenciado. Nosotros lo enviamos en, a su WhatsApp. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you very much. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to share three different audios with you. The first one is about spelling. It's very easy. You need to spell three names. Give me a second. Okay, share screen. Hmm. Cuando terminan la clase, ya han dejado listo todo para el siguiente día. O todavía se levantan a hacer una que otra cosa. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Ve, me quedo hasta las 11. Yes. Yeah. Es bueno administrar el tiempo, saberlo. Good evening. Distribuir. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. How are you? I'm doing okay, thank God. 
We are okay. almost in the middle of the week. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you say thank God the, too. Yeah, <laughs> thank God. Thank the Lord. Yes. Yes. Porque mucha yes. gente muere every day in natural causes, yes. car accidents, <clears throat> violence. So uh just last yeah. just like the last weekend. Yeah, last weekend was very serious. Yes. Imagine how many people died. A lot of a lot of families. How many, how many fa families are in loop? Yeah, grieving. Yeah, or more. That true. Yeah, yeah. Sad we reality. Get so much to thanks God. Exactly. Too much. Too much. Yes. Okay, give me a second. Okay. This is loading. En El Salvador hay tantas maneras de morir y mire, estamos vivos. Gracias, eh, gracias a Dios, exacto. Ah, vamos a ver dónde están ustedes. Para decir gracias a Dios en inglés, ¿cómo sería, teacher? Ok, pregúnteme en inglés eso. Eh. ¿Cómo se dice gracias a Dios en inglés? Pregúnteme en inglés. Thank you. Goodbye. What? How do you What? say? How do How you do say? How do you say? Thank you, Rosemary. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Ah, yeah. el, Thank una God. frase que está de en los Estados Unidos a fin de año, ¿cómo sería? Acción de gracias, creo que es verdad. Oh, Thanksgiving. Ah, eso. Pensé que Thanksgiving. Sea. Y eso es relacionado a darle gracias a Dios. So hay un día dedicado, bueno, que todos los días deberíamos de decirle gracias a Dios, pero en Estados Unidos está Thanksgiving. Is Thanksgiving a holiday in the United States? Is Thanksgiving? Yes, yes, it is. What is, what is the... Not a holiday, but what is the uh, the festivity they have after um, Thanksgiving? Listening comprehension. After Thanksgiving. Que viene después de Thanksgiving. Not exactly. The following day. Al siguiente día de Thanksgiving. Que viene. Mm -mm. No. No. Black Friday. Black Friday. Exactly. Wow. Black Friday. Black Friday is not a holiday, but it's a tradition in the United States. Thanksgiving is a, is a holiday. It's a holiday. That is almost in the third week of the November. Exactly. The third week of November. You're right. Okay. So, les acabo de enviar un audio. Se llama Spelling Names. Play the audio. And what is your mission? Your mission is to write the three names. ¿Estamos claros? Usted va a escuchar el audio, le van a deletrear de nombre, tres nombres y usted los escribe. Go ahead, please.
Ready, teacher. All the time. Okay, one more minute, people. One more minute. Tire teacher. Me too. I'm tired too. All right. Let's go to the chat. Vamos a ver cómo escribe the first name. Go to the chat. Escríbalo en el chat. ¿Qué puso para el primero? Okay. Very good. Very good. S A R A H. Very good. The audios were in the WhatsApp chat, uh, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Okay. Sarah. Sarah. Okay. Very good. So let me spell it for you. Sarah. Ahí está. Tal como lo escribieron. Uh, Varios de ustedes, okay? Okay, what about number two? How do you spell number two? Put number two in the chat, please. Uh-huh. Cherry, está bien escrito, very good. Is it capital C or lowercase? Capital C. Capital C, exactly. Uh, Exactly, very good. And how do you spell number three? Brown, brown, very good, very good. Capital B or lowercase? Capital B. Excellent, very good, very good, nice. Congratulations, you did a good job. Did a good job. Okay. Um, let me put this here. Okay. Okay. El, el page 34 se lo voy a dejar como lectura para que usted lo lea en su tiempo libre. Eh, solo asegurándonos de entender todo lo que está ahí escrito. If you have questions about vocabulary or pronunciation, you let me know. So page 34 is going to be a, a, not a homework, but cuando le quede chance lo lee. Okay, give me a second. Eh, so we go to page 35. Page 35, pero antes de irnos a page 35, vamos a pasar lista. How do you say pasar lista in English? Take attendance. Take attendance. Take attendance. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Take attendance. Take attendance. What? What is the spill attendance? Right now. Ahorita se lo escribo. Attendance. Ahí está. Attendance. Right there in the chat. Oh, se los escribí. Ok, no se lo escribí a todos. Permítame. Everyone in the meeting. Attendance. Right there. Can you see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Attendance. All right. So when you hear your name, please say present. Alex Martinez. Alex, Alex. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Telmi Gomez. Present. Good. Kenya Ruiz. Present teacher. Good. Juan Delgado. Oh. 
Juan Delgado, Juan Delgado. Ok, William Pérez. Good. Susana Jiménez. Here, teacher. Good evening. Very good. Good evening. Jose Corea. Jose, Jose. Present. Good. Uh, Judy Cuellar. Judy, Judy. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Avendaño. Present, teacher. Very good. Elsa Merino. Elsa, Elsa. Okay, Noemi Vasquez. Present, teacher. Very good. Uh, Ruben Campos. Present, teacher. Very good. Helen Barraza. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Moises Rodriguez. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Maricela Velasquez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rafael Barrientos. Rafael Barrientos. Okay. Iris Cañas. Present. Thank you. Uh, Reina Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Very good. Carmen. Present teacher. Calderón, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Andrea Vasquez. Here, teacher. Very good. And Ana Mercedes Amaya. Teacher. Ana Mercedes Amaya. Teacher. Me okay. mencionó. Sí, ¿dónde está usted? Ay, que me moví. Fui al baño. Okay, Just good. Think. Aquí lo tengo presente, no problem. Okay, bueno. so listen to this. Okay, part one. I need a volunteer to read the, the questions in part one. Pueden ver mi libro. Can you see my book? What yes. song? What uh -huh. is yes. Okay, uh -huh. go ahead. Go ahead. What are uh -huh. What are some qualities a good employee needs to have? Make a list. What is the most essential quality to get a promotion? Very good. Thank you. ¿Qué dice la primera pregunta en español? ¿Qué cualidades necesita tener un nuevo empleado? ¿Cuáles son las cualidades de un buen empleado? necesita tener? Ajá. Haz una lista. ¿Cuál es el grado académico que tiene el empleado? No, no, no. Dice que cuáles son las cualidades. Ah, es parte de su respuesta, Juan Ricardo. Yes. Ok, good, very good. And what is the most essential quality to get a promotion? ¿Qué es esa pregunta en español? Ascenso. Ajá, pero ¿cuál es, ¿cómo dice toda la pregunta? ¿Y cuál es la, la, la mejor este, cualidad o la más esencial para obtener una promoción? Un, un ascenso, un ascenso. Very good, very good. Entonces, lo que va a hacer ahorita, usted va a hacer una lista de las cualidades que necesita un buen empleado. Regardless of the company, regardless of the position. ¿Qué significa regardless? Position. Regardless, esta palabra necesito que se la echen al bolsillo porque se ocupa mucho. Regardless. Entonces, ahí nos están diciendo. A good employee. Regardless of the institution, regardless of the position. ¿Qué digo ahí? Como de acuerdo. Not exactly. 
regardless of the company, regardless of the position. Sin importar, sin importar la compañía, sin importar la posición. Un buen empleado siempre va a ser un buen empleado. Uh, sea eh, gerente, supervisor, cafetería, seguridad, human resources, siempre va a tener que tener unas cualidades uh, el buen empleado. ¿Y cuál va a ser la cualidad más esencial para ser promovido? Entonces, I'll give you five minutes so you can make yourself a list. Va a ser una lista de cinco, de, en cinco minutos va a ser una lista de las cualidades for a good employee. Go ahead. Teacher. Yes. Disculpe, yo ya no le entendí qué dijo que significa regalarles. Sin importar. Sin importar, así. Sí, sí, sin importar. Okay. Thank you. Good. Hello, hello. Hello, Noemi. <clears throat> hey, excuse me, sir. Uh, what's the meaning of what's the meaning of a um, man man managerial managerial? Uh, where is it? Managerial where, where? position. Uh, where is that word, uh, Noemi? In the last, uh, in the oh, last. Oh, okay, question. yeah. Managerial okay. position. Managerial. Posición, posición relacionada a la gerencia. Okay. 
Yeah. Thank you. Good, no problem. One more minute, one more minute. All right, so in the chat, please put your list in the chat. Vamos a ver, ¿cuáles son las cualidades que usted considera buenas en un empleado? Let's go. Responsibility, honest, teamwork, leadership, problem solution, creative, communicative skills, constant, professionalism, a sense of belonging, um, willing to learn, knows how to solve problems. Very good. Efficient, emotional, intelligence, inclusive and participatory. Okay, very good. Proactive, honesty, proactive, proactive, learn fast, problem solving abilities. Very good. Good interaction with other people as clients and colleagues. That is very, very important. Mire, usted puede llegar a ser el mejor, eh, puede llegar a tener el mejor inglés, las mejores habilidades con la computadora, pero si no se sabe llevar bien con los demás, you will have problems. Emotional intelligence, faithful, faithful, ¿qué dice? Monitor of his position. Ok. Good presentation, punctuality, integrity. Very good. Nice. Very good. Muy bien. Ok. Entonces, ahorita vamos a responder en parejas the second question. What is the most essential quality to get a promotion? De todas las que usted mencionó ahorita, ¿cuál es la más importante para poder ser promovido? Sin Me tomar puedo. en cuenta que en algunos casos, pues, las influencias juegan mucho que ver, pero que se lo gane la, el ascenso objetivamente. Responsibility. Responsibility. Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos a create rooms. Right here. Mm -hmm. Y pasamos. 
Ahí, entonces algunos quedan de tres, otros quedan de dos. Give your opinion. Let's go. Ok, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga, José Coreas, uh, Carlos Avendaño, you need to connect to your rooms.
Hello, people. Hello. Okay, let's, let's wait for the others. Tenemos a los otros. Teacher. Yes. ¿Y cómo no fue con el examen? No lo he revisado todavía. Les decía al inicio de la clase que mañana se lo voy a devolver. Ah, ok. Ok. Ya. Pero yo sé que salieron bien. No parece mañana. No les tengo buenas noticias. <laughs> I will say, I have good news for you. Yes. Y la idea sí. es de que todos, um, a pesar que digamos, Judy hizo la parte 1, Reina Margarita la parte 2, Dermi la parte 3 y Moisés la parte 4, la idea es de que usted solito lo desarrolle todo para que como medida personal. Anyways, uh, so what is the main characteristic to be considered for promotion. ¿Cuál es la característica principal a tomar en cuenta a la hora de ascender a alguien? Uh, maybe being applied on the, on the job. One more time, please. Le being applied on the job. Okay, Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Being applied on the job. Okay, being applied, being dedicated, being committed. Very good. Juan Ricardo Delgado, what did you say? Responsibility. Responsibility. Okay, someone else? Alguien más? Knowledge. Knowledge. Exactly. Y, y es difícil escoger una cualidad porque son varias las que se necesitan a, antes de ascender a alguien. Right. Anybody else? Alguien más? The academic degree. Ok, academic degree. En muchos lugares le dicen, si no cumple con este grado académico, no aplique. Y pues, lastimosamente así es. Okay. Y volvemos a lo mismo. La educación no lo es todo, pero sí abre muchas puertas. It opens many doors. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Uh, anybody else? Alguien más? Helpful. Helpful, yes. Helpful. Yep. Self-confidence. Passion for your work. Self-confidence, have passion for your work. Yes. Como usted se pone, si usted pone atención, todos están diciendo un, uh, un characteristic diferente y estoy completamente de acuerdo con todos porque to, todos, un poquito de cada uno. Anybody else? Good personal re relations. Uh -huh. good, relation. Yeah, good personal relations with others. Exactly. En leadership. 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 Yes, leadership. En especial si, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, está aplicando para una, para una jefatura, supervisor, gerente. Todo lo que usted acaba de decir, must be present. Debe estar presente. Anything else? ¿Algo, alguien más? No. A veces cuando cuando piden bachiller, bueno, ¿qué opciones? Puede ser técnico, general. Exacto. Sí, en muchos lugares le van a pedir bachillerato como mínimo. Ok. 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 Uh, any questions or comments about the last exercise? No. Ok. Mire lo que escribí en el chat, en el Zoom chat. What did I write? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué dice ahí? How do you pronounce that? Leisure activities. Leisure activities. Yeah, leisure activities. And what's the meaning of that word? Actividades de qué? De recreo, de descanso. 
Ajá, actividades de recreo, actividades de descanso, pueden ser sus hobbies, pueden ser sus pasatiempos. Those are leisure activities. Can you hora mention? De, hora de receso. Okay. Um, can somebody mention examples of leisure activities? Eh, a time. Coffee. Watch Netflix. Watch Netflix. Yeah. That's one. Yes. What else, people? Play softball. Play softball. Okay. Softball. Okay. What else? We listen to music. Read a book. Listen to music. Very good. What else? I running. Running. Yes. Cycling. TV. Cycling. TV. Mm -hmm. Watch television. Play game. Okay. Pongámoslo en el chat. Su favorite uh, leisure activity. Demole. Your favorite activity. Put it in the chat. Play softball. Listen to music. Mm -hmm. Running and listen to music. Watch TV. Go for a run. Watch a good series. Mm -hmm. Read books. Walk. Walking is good. Play game, free fire, listen to music. Okay. Good. Rest. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Um, listen to music, listen to English music. Very good, listen to English music. Uh -huh. Anybody else? Okay, so fíjese bien. What I'm doing right now is activating your knowledge. Listen to music, watch TV, sleep, play soccer. Very good, esa está bien balanceada. Okay, so. I'm going to send you an audio to the WhatsApp chat. In the audio, you will hear <laughs> 10 different uh, leisure activities. You will hear 10 different leisure activities. So this is your challenge. Tan pronto como vayan diciendo la actividad, usted la tiene que ir escribiendo. They go fast. The audio go fast but you need to be faster. Lo dicen algo rápido en el audio, pero usted tiene que ganarle al audio. Entonces la idea es escucharlo solo una vez y al terminar el audio usted tiene 10 leisure activities uh, escritas. ¿Tiene usted atajos para escribir? Do you have shortcuts? ¿Tiene no, técnicas? No. 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 ¿Cómo se llamaba aquella materia donde escribían puros ganchos y garabatos que era para agilizar su escritura? Ortografía. Taquigrafía. En inglés se le llama shorthand. 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 What's the meaning of shorthand? What's shorthand? Es taquigrafía, pero si usted lo traduce literalmente, dice... Mano corta, o sea, que usted le abunda la escritura. Shorthand. Ok. All right. Are the instructions clear? So, once again, number one, le van a decir el leisure, usted le escribe. Number two, lo tiene que ir escribiendo. Y vamos a ver si puede escribirlo without repetition. Give me a second. Without. Check it. Okay, so please open the audio, listen to it, 
what is your mission? Al terminar el audio, escuchándolo una sola vez, describir las 10 actividades que menciona. Let's go. Está fallando, teacher. ¿El qué está fallando? No, no da la pantalla. ¿Cuál pantalla? Lo que quiera mandar. No, no de... aquí el audio. Eh, eh, teacher, ¿dónde es el audio? En el WhatsApp chat. Es el anterior que mandó. No, es, es diferente. No, Pero no ha caído. No ha caído. No lo ha enviado, teacher. Ok, déjeme ver. Ah, sí. Can you hear me? ¿Me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, give me a second. It's loading. Ok. Y el WhatsApp chat, no sé si me permite. Give me a second. Let me check. Copy. Paste. No, no me deje enviárselos. Check. Hmm. Ok, ya les tuvo que haber caído. Ya, teacher. Yes. Ok, yes. go ahead, please. Go ahead. Finish. 
finish the share. Okay, one more minute, people. <clears throat> Exercise, take nap, listen to music, read, play soccer, check mail, go have to dinner, go to the movie, go to the movie, go dancing, do some stuff. All right, people, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. What is number one? Exercise. Exercise. Number two? Take a nap. Take a nap. Take a nap. What's the meaning of take a nap? Tomar un descanso. Okay. Number three? Listen to music. Very good. Number four? Read. Number five? Play soccer. Number six? Good. Number seven. Go out for dinner. Go out for dinner. Next one. For a movies. Good. Next one. Go dancing. And the last one. Visit friends. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Se lo voy a volver a repetir. Exercise. Take a nap. Listen to music. Read. Play soccer. Check email, go out for dinner, go to the movies, go dancing, and visit friends. De esas diez, ¿cuántas aplica usted? Nueve. Nueve, listen to music, read. Siete. Seis. Seis. Cinco, yo solo aplico cinco. <laughs> I'm five, teacher. Yes, cinco. I'm six. Okay. Yo soy. Okay. Six. So, so, quien dijo nueve, ¿cuál actividad no hace? Um. Read. <laughs> Read, okay. Anybody else? <coughs> Busy friend. Okay, okay vamos a hacer way. algo. De esos, de esas diez, vamos a poner cuántas aplicamos en nuestras vidas. Empiezo yo, permítame. Ahí, ahí no se los mandé privado okay. a alguien, pero es acá. Five, Wait. yes. Number, number two, no, no, no comprendí. Take a nap. Take a nap. Take a map. No, take a nap. Nancy, Alpha, uh, Pedro. Nap. Take a nap. Ok, pongamos en el chat el número de acciones que hacemos um, de esas 10 que mencionaron. 5, 6, 6, 6, 6. Six out of ten. Uh -huh. Okay. No, no andamos tan diferentes. Yo pensé que solo yo iba a salir bajo. Pero ya me está dando consuelo ustedes. All right. Very good. Six or seven. Four. Okay, seven. Okay, good. Very good. Excellent. All right, let's continue. Tenemos un audio más que lo vamos a hacer antes de terminar uh, la sesión. Meanwhile, we continue here.
Okay, so dice las instrucciones. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. What is the person in the circle doing? What is he doing? The person in the yellow circle. He's calling. Yes. Making he's, a phone call. Yeah, he's calling, he's making a oh, phone yeah. call, he's using the cell phone. What about the other second, the other person? What's he doing? Priscilla. But the, but the one sitting, what is he doing? This one here. What is he doing? Work in your computer. Okay, working in his computer. Working in his computer, yes. Okay, so please pay attention. We have Pedro and we have Max. Pay attention. Give me a second. Let me mute everybody. And it goes like this. Good morning. This is Pedro Rechihet. Good morning, Mr. Rechihet. This is Max from HR. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We're checking on some references. We're planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he's responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at the managerial position? Questions or comments? Feedback. ¿Qué es, teacher? Okay, feedback es retroalimentación. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Any other questions? What is pronunciation? Warn Warnings. 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 Advertencias. Warnings. Warning. Yeah, warnings. Any warnings, okay. Any warnings. Yes. ¿Cuál es el...? Ajá. La última. Managerial. 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 Managerial position. Yes. Managerial position. Ok. ¿Cuál es el icono que aparece generalmente a la parte de warning? What's the icon? La calavera. Exactly. And what does the calavera represent? Death. Exactly. Death. Death. Okay. So, uh, any questions about this conversation? Pronunciation or meaning? How did you say calavera in English? Skull. 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 Uh-huh, skull, yes. Ahí está, mm. skull. Oh, perdón. Lo envié individual. Skull, ahí está escrito. Questions or comments? Okay, so vamos the pronunciation practice. Um, we're going to practice pronunciation in part two, and then part three, we go uh, to reading comprehension. La parte dos, vamos a leer la, la conversación. Si digamos, Delmi y yo estuviéramos trabajando juntos, ella sería Pedro, yo sería Max. Después cambiamos, ella sería Max, yo sería Pedro. De esa manera todos tenemos oportunidad de leer la conversación. En part three, we apply reading comprehension. Are the instructions clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me create yes. the groups. Okay.
Teacher, no deja compartir pantalla, por favor. I will, no problem. Siempre que quieran compartir pantalla y yo no lo he activado, please let me know. Avíseme. Okay. Van a quedar tres grupos de tres personas. Así que here we go. Vamos a ver. Ok, ya está habilitado para que compartan pantalla. Go ahead.
All right, any questions or comments about the last activity, people? Any questions about pronunciation or meaning? Teacher, promote, así se pronuncia, promote. Promote, si está en presente, promoted, si está con el ed al final. Promote, promoted. Okay. Yes. Anybody else? Teacher. Yes, sir. ¿Qué quiere decir chat don? Uh, ¿Dónde está escrito, Juan Ricardo? No, solo una pregunta. Chat don. Por eso, pero ¿dónde está escrito? Chat down. How do you spell it? ¿Cómo se escribe, Juan Ricardo? Ya se lo mando. Ok. All right, anybody else? Alguien más? Any questions, any comments? Ok, now we go with the third listening. Aquí vamos con el tercer listening. Para esto, I will dictate the questions. You copy the questions, you listen to the audio. Uh, no sé qué significa, Juan Ricardo. Ok, um, Let's see this here. So I will dictate the questions. You copy the questions. You listen to the audio. You answer the questions. And then we discuss it. So are you ready to copy? Number one. Yes. What's, what's the telephone number? What's the telephone number? Todos tienen que estar copiando estas preguntas. What's the telephone number? What? What's the telephone number? Number two. What's his last name? What's his last name? ¿Cuál es el apellido de él? What's his last name? Question three. How old is the kid? How old is the kid? ¿Qué pregunto hay en la tres? ¿Qué edad tiene el niño? ¿Cuántos años tiene? ¿Qué edad tiene el niño? ¿Qué edad tiene el niño? How old is the kid? Number four. What's the address? What's the address? ¿Qué pregunto ahí? ¿Cuál es la dirección? Very la dirección. Good, dirección. Very good. En number five, what time is it? What time es? is it? ¿Qué yeah. hora es? Exactly. Yeah. Yes, Ay. what time is it? Ay. Ok, entonces, number one, what's the telephone number? Le estoy pidiendo el teléfono. Number two, what's his last name? ¿Cuál es el apellido de él? Number three, how old is the kid? ¿Qué edad tiene el niño? Number four, what's the address? ¿Cuál es la dirección? And number five, what time is it? ¿Qué hora es? Are the questions clear? Yes. Good, all right. Okay, give me a second. Okay, good. Teacher. Yes. Repeat number three, four, please. Which number? Three. How old is the kid? ¿Qué edad tiene el chico? How old is the kid? Thank you. Okay, very good. Give me a second. Hmm. Oh. 
Give me a second. Okay, so I sent you the audio, open the audio, listen to it, and answer the questions. Let's go.
One more minute, people, one more minute. Okay, I need a volunteer to give the answers for number one. What's the telephone number for number one? Okay, teacher, it a four five eight two eight two o o nine. Okay, one more time, please repeat it. It a four five eight two two eight o o nine. Good, very good. 845-822-8009. Very good, very good. Can you please put it in the chat? Los demás ponen atención, si tienen que hacer correcciones, eso significa que tiene que volver a escuchar el audio. Of course, mañana en la mañana, en su próximo tiempo libre. Volunteer, que escribe el teléfono for number one. 845-822-8009. Very good. Thank you, thank you. What's his last name? Number two. So how, do you, how do you spell it, tell me? J. Mm -hmm. J. J-O-N-S. E N. Very good. J O N S E N. Anna sing Nancy or Emma sing Mary? Uh, tell me. N asing Nancy or M asing Mary? I don't understand. Okay. N de Nancy or M de Mary? N de Nancy. N as in Nancy. Very good. Okay. Uh, Johnson. Very good. What about number three? How old is the kid? Five. Five years. Okay. Number four. What's five. the address? Somebody. A corner. Okay. And what is well, the address well. exactly, Andrea? 12 West uh -huh. and 12 Street. Good. Can you put it in the chat, please? <laughs> 12 West, 12 Street. Good. Cuando estamos hablando de... Um, direcciones y si el nombre de la avenida o de la calle <coughs> tiene que ir en orden exactly exacto así como lo puso ahí a uh, 12 street 12 street all right uh and what time is it a quarter of three a quarter or for three a quarter two three a quarter two, two three. three. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? A two, quarter two, three. Para tres. Exactly. Para tres. Exactly. 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 Very good. Questions or comments about the listening? Del 1 al 10, ¿cómo lo sintió? Easy, acceptable, or difficult? Acceptable. Okay. Good. Very good. Very good. Nice. Acceptable. Very good. Very good. All right. Acceptable. All right. Very good. Acceptable. Good. Very good. So let's continue. ¿Quién se va a quedar hoy los minutos extra? Who's staying today? Um,
Who's staying today? Uh -huh. Vamos a poner, quiero ver. Alex Martínez, usted ya se quedó. No, teacher, pero ahora sí no puedo. Mañana con gusto. Ok. Francisco Godínez sí ya se quedó, ¿verdad? Francisco Godínez. Sí, teacher, fui el primero. Ok. Delmi Gómez. No las También, algún... pero si me puedo quedar otra vez ahora. Ok, very good. Perfecto, me gusta. Delmi. Está bien. Ok, let's continue with the next activity. Where is the next activity? All right. So, how many tenses are there for uh, the English language? How many tenses? tenses? 12 tenses. Y recuerde que algunos de los tiempos tienen doble función. Digamos, el presente simple o el presente continuo, ¿cómo lo ocupo para poderme expresar en futuro? What's the condition that I need? Uh -huh. I can Ok, but, but what is the condition? To add... Uh... Uh, an ex will. Ok. Pero digamos, vale, voy a poner este ejemplo aquí en el chat. Dice: I am having. Usted me llama un sábado a las 2 de la tarde y me dice: Pregúnteme qué estoy haciendo. What are you doing? What are you doing? Very good. Entonces vengo yo y le respondo. I'm having a barbecue. I am having a barbecue. ¿Qué dice ahí? Una barbacoa. ¿Qué? ¿De qué es una barbacoa? Estoy haciendo una barbacoa. Ok, estoy haciendo una barbacoa. Perfecto. Ahora, si usted me pregunta, pregúnteme qué planes tengo para vacación. Ajá. What's your plan on vacation? Ok, what are your plans for vacation? Entonces vengo yo y le digo, for vacation, I'm having a barbecue. ¿Qué estoy respondiendo ahí? Para vacaciones yo tengo una barbacoa. Ah, tengo una barbacoa o tendré una barbacoa. ¿Cómo sabe que es tiempo futuro? Porque ya me preguntó. Vacation. ¿Le hace falta el will? No. Uh, not necessarily. No necesariamente. El will dijimos que lo ocupábamos para posibilidades. Ahora, si usted me pregunta, Francisco, what plans do you have for vacation? Y yo le respondo, maybe I will have a barbecue. Probably I will have a barbecue. So, el punto es el siguiente. Usted puede ocupar el presente continuo para acciones en futuro. What is the condition? Tiene que mencionar a uh, un time expression. Tiene que mencionar una expresión de tiempo. Esa expresión, en este caso, fue vacation, porque todavía no estamos en vacación. ¿Cuándo empieza vacación? El 12 de abril. 12. Ok. So, April 12th es, es tiempo futuro. Es tiempo futuro. ¿Got it? Ok, entonces vuelvo a repetirle. El presente continuo tiene doble función. Things that are in progress, las actividades que están en progreso, que se están dando. And also you use it for, uh, y también lo ocupa para future plans. Para que pueda sonar con future plans, you need to mention a time expression. 
Por ejemplo, usted me habla un sábado a las 3 de la tarde. Pregúnteme qué estoy haciendo. Uh -huh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Y usted me encuentra donde un barbero y le digo, I'm cutting my hair. I'm cutting my hair. ¿Qué le he respondido ahí? Cortando el pelo. Cortando Estoy cortando el pelo. Ahora pregúnteme qué voy a hacer mañana. What are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? El tomorrow automáticamente me llevó a tiempo futuro y yo le puedo responder, I'm cutting my hair. Y no le estoy diciendo, me estoy cortando el pelo, sino que me voy a cortar el pelo. Me explico. So, you can perfectly use yes. present continuous for future event. Vamos a continuar con esto el día de mañana. Any questions or comments? Y en este caso, no, la pregunta sería, what, what you're doing tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So we're going to stop right here, people. Thank you very much for your time. Desen un aplauso a ustedes por ser responsables y están presentes la mayoría del tiempo. Very good. I'm very happy with you guys. So have a good night. Sleep well. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Good night. Good, good, good night, night, teacher. Good night, Juan Ricardo. Yo lo bendiga a todos. Very good. Thank you. Hello, tell me. Hello, teacher. I need help. Yes. With homework uh, 13. Uh, what unit? Three and... Let, let me check. Let me check si puedo abrir esto ahorita. Do you remember the exercise? Certain. Okay, but do you remember the exercise in particular? Um... All. Okay, me dice what unit? Tell me. Three. Unit three. Okay, unit three. Number 13. Yes. Vamos a ver. Excuse me. What time do you start working, Tell me? What time do you start working? Uh, um, seven a.m. Seven a.m. That's early. And what time do you finish? At four. Four p.m. or four thirty. 30, 4.30. Okay, yeah. good. All right. And what's the distance between your house and your work? It's next my house. Yes, I remember you mentioned it uh, last time. Okay, give me a second. Computer is This should be it. Let me check. Should 
Okay, check course. Unit three. Okay, where exactly, uh, Delmi? ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es la donde está su pregunta? Es que ninguna me sale buena. ¿Perdón? Ninguna me sale buena en la 13. Como dice que, que tengo que identificar el error en la oración. Okay, vamos a ver. Pero no es esta donde. Can you see my screen? Puede ver mi, mi, mi pantalla, ¿verdad? Sí, pero ahorita tiene proyectando el libro. Hmm. Ok, esta de aquí. Esa de ahí es la que no le da. La 13. Ajá, esta es la 13, pero necesito saber si. Ah, ya, ya la entendí, permítame. Ok, ¿can you see my screen? Hoy sí. Ok, ahí es donde me dice usted que tiene problemas. Exacto. Ok. ¿Ninguna se la, se la recibe? No, ninguna. Por lo menos en la segunda. Ajá. Le voy a tomar una foto y se las voy a enviar para que la compare con lo que usted está. El mi. Travels le ponía. Mándeme un WhatsApp ahorita, please, para ubicarla. Ok. Ok, ahorita se lo envío. And you can compare later. Entonces, eh, intente poniéndolas así. Y, um, y si todavía no le agarra, me vuelve a comunicar. Ok, thank you. Okay. Teacher. All right. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yes. See you tomorrow. Snow.